when I first became Christian, I started hanging out with my Christian friends and everybody who wasn't Christian was like bad, you know? So I, I just didn't hang out with them. I didn't want anything to do with them. I was safe, kind of like in a bubble. Before I started playing basketball, I was unaware of the things that people do in the world. But when I started playing basketball, it was like guys were having sex, they were doing drugs, I mean, drinking alcohol. So I was just kind of exposed to how it really is in the world. When I was first exposed to those guys doing things like that, it was really uncomfortable because my friends before, we didn't do things of that sort. A lot of times in the locker room, I'll get made fun of because I, wasn't, I was the outcast, I was the square. I'm not having sex, I'm not doing drugs, I'm not going to parties. So I was looked down upon a lot. This is how I viewed friendship before I read Matthew in the Bible where it's talking about Jesus with the tax collectors. In that passage, I saw Jesus was friends with the tax collectors, so I decided that I could be friends with some people who just aren't like me. It was, it was a little difficult for me creating new friends who were different from me because I, I mean, I knew it was real, like people, that don't, that aren't Christian and don't act like us. But when it's in reality, it's like you don't, you don't want to hang out with those people naturally just because you don't want to become how they are. So I struggled a, a while. Like I wouldn't talk to my teammates some days and some days I would. Like it was, it was just tough, like a whole process. Well, my mindset wasn't exactly like they're sinners, I should stay away, but it, it just became more real to what the Bible was saying. When I first started hanging out with them, it was a little tough because I had to learn not to compromise my faith, but I also wanted to show them that I, I had compassion for them, that I really cared about them as people. I would try to serve them as much as I could, like clean up the locker room, or I mean, little stuff, like if they would be cussing, I would just be like, man, that's not the way to go, or how they treat women, like we shouldn't be doing that. I would just kind of tell them, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to put them down, like saying, you're bad, you're a sinner. I would just say my point of view on it. One of my teammates actually, uh, I would tell him every day, like, you gotta stop, you gotta stop, you gotta stop. But he was like, he just didn't comply. Like, he wanted to do what he's gonna do. But one day he told me that he respected me because I'm, I'm not actually just saying it. He sees me living it, so I felt good at that moment. I felt like that was God telling me that I need to keep going. I feel like God putting me in an uncomfortable position was beneficial to me because I was able to impact those who weren't able to see Christ growing up or they weren't able to see somebody living that life. So I think God has blessed me because he was able to allow me to be a light in those kids' eyes. Like my teammates might have not changed, but at least they were able to see who Jesus is or what it is to be a Christian.